Hello everyone. How do you enable auto recompile on a Razor class library? So after you save a Razor page inside your library, that change could reflect inside your browser right away. This feature is not enabled out of box with SP.NET Core 3. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable that. Here in my solution, I have a web application and it's referencing two Razor class libraries. It also has an index page. On the index page, I have a link pointing to page one. Page one is a Razor page inside of one of my Razor class libraries. It also has a component one, which is a Razor component in the other Razor class library. To enable the auto recompile, first thing you need to do is add a package reference to Razor runtime compilation to your web application. Then go to is a startup configure services method add the following lines. Basically here, I'm just adding the content path to my Razor class library, add it as a file provider to the Razor runtime compilation options. Since I have two Razor class libraries, I'm adding both to the file providers. Now this should work with Razor page. So if I make a change, say add a hello there, save, and go to my Razor page, it's doing a auto recompile for me and then I see hello there. Unfortunately, this is supposed to work with both Razor page and Razor component, but that's not the case. It doesn't work with Razor component. But the code here I'm showing you if, if it were working, this is what you would do, add both to the file provider. So to get a Razor component working, we have to use .NET Watch. To enable .NET Watch with Visual Studio, we have to do two things. Go back to web application csproj file, add this line, watch include and put the path to your Razor class library with all directories and watches for dot Razor extension. Next, go to the web applications launch settings.json. Add a new profile there. Basically, this new profile will do .NET watch run inside of this uh, current project directory. After that, you're gonna see a new profile listed in this dropdown inside your Visual Studio. Set it to that and uh, do a Control F5. Be aware, this thing does not work with debug, so you have to run this with Control F5. Upon running, you're gonna see the command window come up. So now, if I make a change to Razor page, say I add a hello and a save, I'm going to go back to the index page. So it's doing auto recompile for me. This is one of the quirks. What you're seeing is sort of like this timed out, but it's going to come back. So you see hello here. Another thing I want to show you is browser link, which is a very popular feature web developers uh, use to save this round trip of coming to the browser and clicking that refresh ourself. However, browser link does not work with this setup. So if you're developing with Razor components, unfortunately that cannot be used basically, but I'm still going to show you um, because things progress fast, this could be fixed. And uh, if anyone knows, you know, maybe another workaround, please let me know. So what you need to do is go back to your web applications csproj file. First, add a package reference to browser link. Then go to your startup CS. This time go to configure and uh, add the app.use browser link. With that, if you go back to your browser, if you do a refresh, this will crash your Visual Studio. Take a look. 
your Visual Studio actually right now is not responding. It's not responding. It's going to restart. See that? But the website is still running. The website is still running. Yeah. So this thing works with some quirks, but it does work. Um, so, you know, that at least helped me boost some uh, productivity. Hopefully this is helpful to someone who is looking for a solution in this regard. And like I said, if you know other workaround to make this workflow better, please leave a comment and let me know. Thank you.